Welcome to Yagami. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I was rushing into the fetid tonsils of that horrible monster. The next, I was plummeting downwards to the jungle floor beyond its reach. I prayed I would land on something soft. Perhaps your head. But nothing, nothing could have prepared me for what was about to unfold. An epic saga of pride, power, and revolution. A struggle for freedom, the likes of which our world has never seen. And it happened like this. were those strange, gentle monsters who towered above me? I could only guess they were the lost tribe of the Mienf, an earlier race of people. But why were they so fearful of those ancient gates that lay just beyond their village? And why did they seem to recognize me? Why? Also wondering why. No, a kaksha general. Who was I to question such things? Trapped as I was deep underground. I was more curious, I must admit, about the location of Little Orpheus. of a great city, a mighty power. Yet your nymph squatted like savages in huts at its boundary. They did. And the answer to that mystery lay beyond my grasp at that point. Because it was a wonder, it truly was. The lost city of Agartha. I hope I may one day see it myself. Oh, General. If only you could. Unfortunately, as I shall explain, should you seek Agartha now, you wouldn't find it. It has been utterly destroyed. Utterly destroyed? Utterly, General. A tragic loss. A convenient loss. I imagine archaeologists weeping as I tell you. But most importantly, before we continue, you must understand one crucial fact about its destruction. Which is? It wasn't my fault.
unfortunate Mienk, trapped and kidnapped and dragged away only to return as vicious foot soldiers to some unknown tyrant. And yet, there was something familiar about the Shtokova they were forced to wear on their heads, which I was sure were being used to control and enslave them. And what was that? General, it curiously resembled the radio sets I used to tinker with as a child. Radio sets? It was very curious. It was very curious. It was extremely curious. An ancient technological metropolis, powered by a glowing resin carved from the very earth? A glowing resin carved from the very earth. Do you see, General? <sighs> I fear you are about to enlighten me. been drained by the impact, but whoever had stolen it and brought it here was no doubt planning to use the Agartan resin to charge up the atomic bomb, restoring the device to its full potential. What sort of man would come up with such a monstrously reckless scheme? Perhaps the type of man who has such limited understanding of atomic energy that he thinks an ancient metropolis can be powered by shiny marbles. Thank <laughs> you. 
I am curious, Ivan Ivanovich. You talk and talk about this great subterranean city, yet what you describe sounds strangely familiar. It does in some way bear an uncanny resemblance to the glorious architecture of Comrade Alexei Dushkin. Wouldn't you agree? Tanyet, General. I have never heard of this great Tavarish Dushkin or his works. Interesting. Because you were photographed on the steps of his marvelous Visotka na Krasnichvarotach, shaking hands with the Galavni constructor. That was the chief designer? The sweaty little fat man with the bad hearing? Mind your mouth, Ivan Ivanovich. And don't think you can distract me by slandering one of the great visionaries of our time. Without him, neither of us would be sitting here now. I must remember to thank him for that, General. <laughs>